Welcome back to Meticulous Mechanic. If you watched yesterday's video on finding top dead center, you'll be able to do all of this. So today we're going to be focusing on the valve clearance up here. Cold intake. Um, it's about 10 degrees here in Bellingham today. Probably about 50 in my garage. So I've got the heater going a little bit. Probably won't matter too much. When they talk about the shims, they're in millimeters, and in these specifications, you got the intake clearance from 0.11 to 0.2 millimeters. And then if you convert that to thousands, 0043, which is four thousandths if you round it off, and 0.0079 is eight thousandths if you round that off. The exhaust, 0.26 to 0.30 millimeters, and that's ten thousandths if you round it off, and 12 if you round it off into inches. So I'm going to do a little thing like maybe we can get our head around millimeters because that's what they come in. When I go out to the shop, we're going to be using a feeler gauge or a thickness gauge to measure the valve clearance. So if you turn to the next page, we'll have cylinder one at top dead center and then there's going to be this whole sequence down here of rotating the crankshaft 240, 480, and 720 degrees, and then measuring the clearance with that feeler gauge. So I bought a new feeler gauge set, and I've got to decide whether I'm going to think in English or metric. So I definitely think in English um, looking at this. I definitely, if we're looking at this intake. And we got four to eight thousandths. We can eliminate this two. This point zero two five, and the three. Now, if we get up here to point zero zero four inches and point one zero millimeters, and then you look over at the tolerance, it's point one one millimeters and point zero zero four three. So I would say, let's just eliminate this one. And if we start at five thousandths of an inch, I did take a machining class once, so 0 0.005, the machinist will just say five thousandths, which is 0 0.13 millimeters, and we want 0 0.11 millimeters. So we'll go with the 0 0.005, 0 0.13 millimeters on the bottom end. Get these out of the way. If we go up the other side, the next one is 0 0.007 inches, 0 0.18 millimeters. That one is in the range. Next one, 0 0.008 to 0 0.2 millimeters. That one is good there. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like they gave me two of the same ones. Let's see what's after that one. So here's our range. Get these out of the way. And then we have this extra one here. So this 0 0.009 to 0 0.23 would be out. That would be too big of a gap. So we'll get rid of this one, and that's a duplicate. So here's the three we need. five, seven, and eight, or 13, 18, and 20. I just spun it out. There's a six thousandths hidden in there too. I'm gonna go ahead and write this down. Now I made one for the intake, one for the exhaust. I got my coffee, take the manual out to the shop my feeler gauges.